So I'm going to start with the past, so why did it change? The present, so current challenges that industry faces. And then the future, looking at supply chain transparency initiatives. And then a brief outlook. And I thought I'd start with the diagram of a complex supply chain to set the scene if you like. And hopefully you can read it, I know the colours are a little interesting. But this is for the manufacture of a shampoo and outlines all of the parts and products in the supply chain. It goes through the commodities from the feedstock to the basic chemical manufacturers. So there are many different parts to the supply chain, not just the product that people see. Manufacturers face increasing pressure to allow transparency in their supply chain. Regulators, non-governmental organisations and consumer groups are demanding an increased insight and this drives the cradle to the grave mentality, so from raw materials all the way through to disposal. They need to meet the business expectations as well as the market expectations. So there's this greater expectation for transparency. There are expanding regulations, and I know we've heard a lot about regulations over the past few days. You need uh, regulations across the supply chain and a need for individual substance classifications for all chemicals as well as overall product classifications. There are new chemical registration requirements, such as K-REACH and China Reach, where environmental and health data is required for all chemicals. Sustainability is high on the consumer list of concerns, and they talk about it. So what are the options moving forward? How can one become more transparent in their supply chain without giving away all of their trade secrets? The first one I've got here is know the regulations, and I know we've talked about this a lot over the past few days. But knowing the regulations at each stage of the product life cycle is imperative. Ensure compliance with current and upcoming re requirements. Regulations can change quickly and frequently, so you need to know what's coming and prepare for it. Establish procedures to keep current with the changing regulatory landscape. If you have regulatory knowledge, Implementing a software solution could be beneficial for both supplying products locally and transporting products outside of your local country. A good software system can guide you through classification distinctions from different regions, as well as being very helpful when producing your documentation in different languages. Not all companies have the resources to employ a regulatory person full time. Working with a seasoned professional will help you define your regulatory considerations. Retailer green initiatives are starting to address some of the consumer concerns. Retail companies are starting to test products such as clothing, cleaning products, personal care products and many others for chemicals of concern. Some are keeping products containing harmful chemicals off their shelves entirely or banning products which have chemicals on restricted chemical lists. We're finding that consumers are also starting to avoid products which contain certain chemicals so sometimes full disclosure is important. Non-governmental organisations have the ability to make big waves in the chemical space. Think of companies like Oxfam, World Vision, UNICEF, or even the World Wildlife Fund. They can challenge companies on everything from what's in their product to how sustainable they are. Companies such as Walmart have been working with NGOs to make sustainability a part of doing business with Walmart. They are addressing the concerns of the NGOs and making a more sustainable supply chain while increasing consumer trust at the same time. Supplier scorecards are something that a few companies are starting to do. They're looking at suppliers and working out how well they sit on everything from recycling to waste disposal to where they source their products from. And this can help decide which suppliers to use. I mentioned before that social media is an issue that companies are facing. Consumers are becoming more aware. Social media puts pressure on retailers to provide greener and safer products, and there is a real power in the consumer. So you need to make sure that you are active in social media, things like Facebook and Instagram. You need to be proactive on your own website. Keep it updated and respond to people's concerns. Whilst implementing a sustainable supply chain initiative, it can sometimes affect the bottom line. However, consumers are more likely to produce an environmentally friendly or sustainable product, especially if the cost is similar to one that is not sustainably sourced. 
Price is a barrier for consumers, so costs need to be kept down. Sustainable doesn't have to equal expensive. You need to keep working towards new ways to show consumers that you care and are working towards a sustainable supply chain. This might be finding new effective chemicals as a preservative in your product. I've got value your employees. From the factory worker to the person in the retail store, your employees are an important part of your supply chain. Ensuring that they have all the correct benefits, making them feel valued, they're old enough to work, and including them in sustainability initiatives are all really important. Whilst working towards a sustainable supply chain, it's important to have regular monitoring in place, especially if you change a supplier in your supply chain. Do they meet all of your requirements? Are they sustainably sourcing all their raw materials and engaging in zero waste policies? Regular monitoring to ensure that you still comply is paramount. If you end up having to recall a product, the cost is not only monetary, but to your brand reputation as well. Companies are focusing on supply chain sustainability more than ever before. Corporate social responsibility is a driving force for many organisations. Implementing strategies and initiatives around global supply chain transparency is turning into a necessity, not an option. So in summary, you need to make sure you're consumer aware. Follow the cradle to grave mentality, so know all of the stages of your supply chain. Implement strategies around sustainability and monitor, monitor, monitor. Thank you.